I'm about to break down why so many people struggle with trust and feeling secure and grounded and balanced within their reality, okay? All of that has to do with the root chakra, all right? Y'all, the chakra centers are so vital, okay? <laughs> to And them being balanced and spinning correctly is key to you being able to navigate through this matrix with ease and freely and peacefully and balanced and whole. You get to create a wholesome life for yourself, y'all. This is real ass life. Listen, I am in heaven. I am in heaven. This, 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 this reality that I'm creating is heaven. It's freedom. It's peace. Come on, Ra. Come on out, Ra. It's peace. And you, you can live in a reality like that, all right? But the reason why a lot of people struggle with being at peace is because the paranoia and the the mistrust of life, the mistrust of others, the mistrust like thing, bad things are going to happen to me. You're always just waiting for something bad to happen, waiting for it. And in you waiting for it, you continue to create and attract negative or situations that match and mimic that energy of what's going to happen next. OK, you're 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 putting out there, you're asking the universe what's going to happen next. I'm looking for something bad to happen. And the universe just echoes that back to you. Something bad happens, okay? But that all goes back to that root chakra, y'all. And the root chakra, see, the chakra centers are developed every seven years and recalibrated, okay? And um, they recenter themselves every seven years. So from zero to seven years old, that's when the root chakra is beginning to establish itself. From zero to seven years old is also when... A child is getting all of the programmings that they will have that will literally form and shape and mold them into who they are going to be. So you you give someone a child from infancy, all really the womb, all the way up to seven years old. That the programs that that child learns, that's going to literally be within their subconscious mind, and that is going to literally play out in the rest of their lives unless they do some sort of reprogramming or rewiring but most people don't okay so if that root chakra isn't able to be established correctly it's going to be very 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 difficult for that individual to grow up and trust life and trust others and feel secure because the root chakra deals primarily with security feeling secure safe grounded you can trust life it's like free okay you feel free you feel very grounded within your reality you feel safe all right if that's not established for a child from zero to seven years old they will grow up not feeling safe they will grow up in survival mode okay because if you're not safe and grounded and secure in your in your reality but you're still in this reality what's going to happen is in order to feel safe you're going to get on the defense it's that fight or fly that survival that survival mode that tough tough jaded looking over your shoulder like what you want you know what you want what you after <laughs> you know it's like look i'm just trying to just see if you're okay why are you so defensive why are you so like rough but that's why and the reason why we see this within our community the most okay um and especially within our women see and then what happens is oh wait see what happens is you're not able to be balanced those feminine and masculine energies aren't, aren't able to be balanced so you end up being too you're in your wounded masculine energy it's just who isn't it is a way to protect yourself so this is why we have so many of our women that are very very tough very very hard masculine they, they can't it's hard for them to balance out that feminine energy because whatever they experience from zero to seven years old which in most cases with our people because of the broken homes the lack of protection okay the mother is having to provide protect 
and nurture, teach, there's no way. There's no way she's able to do that. Something's got to give. So because of that and the lack of, of protection, a lot of our women end up being molested. Boys too, okay? End up getting molested. They're not protected. The streets are teaching them shit, you know? So then they grow up hard. They can't trust. They can't trust life. They can't trust anybody. So you grow up with that program. Because remember, zero to seven years old. So let's say you were you were molested or there was some sort of sexual trauma that happened at four. All right. Your subconscious remembers that. And it sticks with you forever. Even if you're not consciously aware or whatever, you're not like consciously thinking about it every day as an adult. Like you're not thinking about back when you were four, but it shows up in your marriages. It shows up in your relationships. It shows up in your ability to form relationships. It shows up within your finances, okay? And it doesn't even have to be molestation. It could just simply be not having a father. Not having a father in the home. Let me tell y'all something. Listen, children need both parents in their lives, period, period, like period. There's a reason why it's a father and a mother, okay? Because children need both parents. And when a child grows up realizing that one of my parents aren't here, my father isn't here. They go to school, they see the other little girls, other little boys getting dropped off with their dads, having the dances and stuff with their dads, and they don't have a dad. That leaves a freaking void. They're like, well, what about me? What's wrong with me? Why don't I have a dad? Why didn't he pick me? Am I not enough? Am I not good enough for them? And then in a lot of cases, the mother is, is talking down on the daddy. So then it's like, dang, well, you know, it's this sense of identity crisis. All right. So they grow up. That's a program that's being set in their brains. I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. I'm not good enough. Okay. So then you become 13, 14. And naturally, because that's human nature, we crave love. We crave to feel accepted and loved and safe and when you don't you feel like there's a void and that's not given to you and being given to you at home you look for it out elsewhere so this is why we have a lot of our 13 even younger 11 12 13 14 15 year old young girls getting pregnant because they're out having sex looking for their dads they're looking for love okay and then they end up having kids and they end up repeating the same thing and then they grow up and become women and then they don't but they don't know how to be in relationships with men because they never had a relationship with a man okay the, the first relationship you have with your father and your mother that's the first ever relationship that you will ever form with the masculine archetype and the feminine archetype okay so if there were any blockages or dysfunction or voids there that sticks with you because that goes into your subconscious mind so you grow up because remember so many broken children living in adult bodies mimicking adult lives so you grow up and you're trying to mimic an adult life you're trying to find a man and settle down and be happy and be in love and stuff but four or five six seven eight seven year old you daddy's not there you're getting dropped off at school and you see all the other little girls with their daddy and mine's not here I'm not enough. I'm not worthy. So you end up attracting those types of men because that's your point of attraction. That's the energy you feel. You're in the energy of not feeling worthy, not feeling enough. So you end up attracting your mirror. Okay. Someone who mirrors back to you, not enough unworthiness okay so this is how you end up getting into relationships with what we call ain't shit men and all that other stuff and even the men even ain't shit men ain't shit men are produced from broken homes half the black families today are headed only by a woman that seems like that's all they be doing if I is making babies and shit making babies <laughs> Darren told us that in this neighborhood, it's easy to get involved with girls and easy to get into trouble. Darren has been arrested five times for stealing, suspicion of homicide, and for possession of a deadly weapon. Like, this is just, how is a, y'all, how is a boy supposed to know how to evolve into a man 
if he's not shown how like the fuck okay and then he sees remember those programmings zero to seven he sees his mom providing for everything he sees his mom taking care of everything he sees his mom paying all the bills he sees his mom doing all the protection work okay mm -hmm.